So I've been meditating on and off for the last five years, probably. I'm 22 right now, so I started about 18 years old. And <clears throat> I've really, really delved deep into meditation, like super, super seriously, only in the last few months. Uh, I was going through the hardest period in my entire life, uh, going through some uh, major, major emotional troubles and financial troubles. Um, and I, I was going up and down and up and down all the time. Now everybody goes up and down. I go a bit more up and down than most, than most people. Uh, but add to that the fact that, you know, one day it's amazing and then the other day something like stressful to the bone happens and it was just excruciating. And since then, I developed the goal of being mindful all the time, relaxed uh, in the moment uh, as an ideal, one of my long-term goals. And I realized that the habit I'd have to adopt for, for that to be a potential, potential reality is to meditate for an hour every single day, no matter what. I've been doing this for about a month and a half now and it has so profoundly helped me and changed my life in ways that I can't even begin to describe but I'll do my best in trying. So the major benefit, the biggest biggest benefit that I've seen so far isn't becoming more mindful, it isn't being more still it's the fact that every time you meditate you sort of reset yourself imagine whatever shit you accumulated that day that week that month that year when you sit still for an hour and just stare at a fucking wall everything starts getting flushed out like you'll get episodes where you start like vibrating and shit and stuff where you start getting pissed like so angry and moments of unconsciousness where you start actually seeing and this is a science I'm not I'm not talking from my ass you actually start seeing things in the past that you repressed because they were too tough to, to emotionally deal with and then your body sort of starts slowly ingesting, ingesting them. And until now, they were stuck in your body as this manifestation of anxiety. And they start, again, ingesting slowly. And they're literally so traumatic that you start going in and out of consciousness. So you, would, you, you, literally, you literally sit and meditate and suddenly your eyes like you sort of close your eyes and you, you like start falling asleep bam you wake up and you feel like t twice as present and still as you were before and then again you bah, you wake up again and it's like it's ingesting done ingesting done and, and you're like what the fuck so so don't think this is like a thing that you do once in a while this sort of cleaning up and by the way it's very similar to um, you know if you have a computer and you have these software that removes uh, viruses or registry bugs uh, where the software kind of runs and does this search and it, it's like finding you know one two three five ten bugs a hundred bugs three hundred bugs ten thousand bugs and it's like it's like found this one this many bugs your computer could be faster so this is how it is with you as a person. It's like, it's like there's so many bugs. <laughs> there's so much shit that, that, that makes you inefficient, uh, not think clearly, uh, not having the energy. Uh, so you're, just, you're, just, you're not clear every time. You're like, Ugh, anxiety, Ugh, depression. Ugh, I can't f think straight. Ugh, I don't have energy. And it just fucks you up and then you can't be effective. And Again, every day I have to do that over and over and over again. 
And the coolest thing, what I like the most about it is that it gets deeper and deeper and deeper the more you do it. So imagine that you've been meditating for a month. At this level, you're still cleaning up the, the surface level shit, even if you've been doing it for just an hour, for a full hour every day. So you're still in the, the surface level, you're still not in the deep shit that's like rooted from the past. Now, the more you do it, the more kind of cleaner you get in general, and now there's actually more space to, to bring out the deeper stuff. So you know how when you clean stuff, there's the things you can just rub your, head on, rub your hand on and then they get cleaned. Then there's things that are a bit deeper that you have to apply water, stuff like that. And there's, then there's the things that require you to scrub real hard. And then there's the things that are so deep that you have to form, you use some form of acid to slowly melt it away. And that's how you get clearer and clearer the more you meditate. Again, I'm not talking about a woo-woo kind of meditation where you start levitating or finding God, although that is possible. I'm talking about sitting still with yourself and just leaning your mind towards calming down. And automatically, there's going to be shit in the way of you calming down. So that's what this is for. It cleans up the mental rubble, the mental shit that has built up inside you. And if I wouldn't have been meditating in this period, I really don't know how... I would have been able to do what I'm doing today with the amount of action I'm taking because let me tell you like one day you know I wake up and I'm just depressed you know like everybody I just wake up I'm like fuck this shit I hate today I hate this day and then I meditate and I, I, I relax I realize it's not really me being depressed, it's like a bug. It's like something, if the, my mind is like a series of buttons, there's the depression button, somebody just, and just held it. <laughs> and now it's like, and it's like happiness? Yeah, but, but it's held, the, 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 the depression button is still held. And excitement? Yeah, but it's still held. So you're kind of stuck in a loop. And this happens too with positive emotions, by the way. Um, po having positive emotions is not very good either. I'm not saying, there's emotions that don't have um, negatives, like joy, like relaxation, like honest relaxation, um, love, true love, not, not, oh my God, like, true love these are things that have no opposites so they're good they're natural but there's things like being excited being you know super enthusiastic and stuff like that they basically guarantee that you'll have an equivalent crash sooner or later and if you think you're smart you're like yeah no i can i can be enthusiastic or i can be high energy happy and hold it for a while, well then you're just looking for, you're just building yourself up towards a bigger fall that will last longer later. Because the guy who was really happy today and didn't hold it, then tomorrow he's sad, he's like, oh, I'm sad now, that sucks. But the guy who was like happy for a month and forced it, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Next month, bam, his entire world crashes and it's like but but I was happy no is it all fake it was not real and, and then gets into all sort of shit so when you meditate you sort of prevent that um, obviously you have to prevent you have to kind of meditate for a while before you get to the point where 
you actively prevent it because like I said there's a lot of surface shit that you first have to clean but once you do it gets amazing and I'm really really excited to see how this habit sort of develops as I develop and as I consist on doing it because almost two months in to meditating an hour every day and I mean already already the results are are incredible so thanks for sharing these 10 minutes with me these are my thoughts of uh, meditation I'm sure there's some stuff that I left out but you know I make five videos a day so I think think will be good and I'll just mention it if it comes up thanks for watching